What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards of Comics here. That's right, we are on the road again. Chantilly Show. We are getting ready to head out. We got all loaded up. Got some Mountain Dew already. We're gassed up already. Got about a five and a half hour drive, give or take, till we get to the show. Uh, might do a little inventory recap when I get to the hotel room or depending on if I'm running late or not. Just head straight to the show. We will see. But we got to get on the road because we got a long one. Pennsylvania Turnpike. It sucks. It's one of my least favorite roads to drive on. We will see you when we get to Chantilly. All right. It is a little bit later in the afternoon. We have arrived. I am just going straight over to the show. So I'll show you boys and girls a little bit of what I brought with me. It is once again, mostly baseball stuff that I would like to move off of. We got a little LE triple patch. We still got that Aaron Judge. I brought the J-Rod refractor just in case, just to have something bigger on me uh, to potentially trade in if something crazy happens. A little Wit SP. We got the Junior. Most of this is all stuff you've seen from recent PSA submissions, little Churio 9. There's that LE 8.5. This should probably be a popular one. Little Gunnar Henderson, Rookie Auto. We got that coming with us. Still carrying around that J-Rod SP Gold Mirror. Little Quan, some Parker Meadows, some more Wit, some more Wit. Uh, we got a little Jose there and that Jim Lee CGC9 that I got. So that's what I brought with me uh, live from the car. Getting ready to, I'm, I'm just across the street from the show. I just wanted to grab something to drink real quick. And then we're going to head on over and hit the show and see what is going on. Uh, this Friday night is like a preview night. Uh, I'm getting here with probably about three or four hours left in the show. So it'll probably just kind of take a quick lap around and get a feel for things. I don't know what's going on with trade nights down here. I got to figure that out while I'm roaming around. And I will, depending on what happens, we'll give you all a little bit of update when I get back to the room later, or maybe some footage from the show floor itself. All right, well, spent a little time in the show, was steady, uh, about what I would expect for a Friday night preview night is what they kind of call it, or I'll, it's technically the show hours. They do like a preview thing and get in at one, uh, and then the show opens at three until about eight. So it's just just for a few hours. Uh, was pretty steady. Not a lot of autograph signers today. Most of the big ones are tomorrow, and that always brings the people in. Um, just some quick takes. A lot of baseball on the show floor. Not a lot of football that you want, if that makes sense. Uh, you could definitely tell people are holding back their good football inventory for like the National or whatever or other shows or till later in the season. But baseball definitely dominated the show floor for sure. Uh, the other thing is I – this is my first time at this show – I was expecting it to be a little bigger. Um, I feel like Philly is a much bigger show, like just space-wise. I had talked to some people, and they had said that the show kind of expanded out part of the autograph stuff, and that kind of cut into the dealer tables a little bit. I did a quick, you know, maybe two laps, very quick. That's usually what I like to kind of do, just kind of fill things out. I didn't see a ton of stuff I want to make like a move on um sharon from black jaded wolf had some non-sport stuff that i'm definitely interested in that i might make a run at tomorrow specifically a james earl jones auto she had it stickered for around 1500 which is a, a fair asking price uh, she also had a really nice mark hamill auto which is uh the price of a used honda civic um so i might make a run at that james earl jones tomorrow i have been looking for one of those so if I can knock one of those out, that would be great. The other disappointing thing is that there's no formal trade night. Uh, I guess Blowout used to do one on occasion, but they kind of don't anymore. So I'm going to check out the Holiday Inn that's nearby. That's in the same parking lot. I guess that's kind of where people congregate. So I'm going to go grab some dinner and then maybe check out the Holiday Inn for a trade night and see what's going on with that. But we'll update from there. All right, we're back. It is Saturday morning. I did not go to any trade nights last night. Uh, I thought about it, grabbed some dinner, and decided, you know what? I'm just going to go back to the room and watch some women's Final Four, watch the Caitlin Clark game, and call it a night. Start fresh this morning. Just got some breakfast, getting ready to head over to the show now. I believe Flipping Steve is already in town, so try to hook up with him. Uh, 
got to figure out if I'm going to go after anything today. You know, like I said in the previous segment, not much caught my eye. There was a couple things that I saw that I researched overnight that I might go back after, but we'll see. Uh, the James Earl Jones auto that I talked about, I think there might be a little bit of bleed, like ever so slight uh, around the J and the A on it. So I'm going to take a look at it today in the show. And if I'm even hesitant at all, I'm going to walk away from it because I don't want to deal with an autograph bleeding. And that's a card that I would be buying to stash away for quite a while. Uh, there was a few other little like baseball things that I saw that I might inquire about. Uh, and then, you know, we'll see maybe if I could sell some stuff. I don't usually like to sell towards dealers, but it might not be a full day in the show today. We'll see. Uh, the wife came with me, so I might spend the morning in the show. And if nothing's going on, I might get out of there and head into DC for a little bit this afternoon and do some stuff and then try to swing over and hit maybe a hotel trade at the Holiday Inn or something. Uh, but that's the plan for today. We will see what happens. Uh, we got to head over to the show and track down Flipper Steve. We found Pub and Dump Steve. Have we found anything at this show, Steve? It has been tough. It, this show has been tough. I'm going to go back and try to get a card that I saw in the very beginning, which is normally a mistake. It's probably gone. But no, it's actually been kind of rough for me. It's been rough for me, too. I made one pickup. I drove six hours one way. For the crazy daisy sticker. <laughs> Guys, I found a rocket ship to take all our cards to the moon. We are back home from Chantilly. Um, I was hoping to get a little additional bonus features. I think the last thing you all saw was maybe me hanging out with Flipping Steve as the show floor winded down and maybe me on the hunt to go try to find a trade night, which... Spoilers, I was not able to do. I believe there was a small one at the Holiday Inn. When I went past, not much action was happening. So I just went ahead and called it a night on Saturday night. Got up early Sunday morning with big plans to get on the road early. Um, the big solar eclipse nonsense is happening in Ohio this week uh, for totality. So I wanted to get on the road before a bunch of traffic happened. And that's where things got crazy. Like I said, I was hoping to get a little bit of content here and there this morning to kind of fill in the gaps, but uh, went out in the morning to put my bags in the car and the back tailgate on my wife's Outback closed, but did not latch all the way. It got stuck in the cargo net. It was basically 98% of the way closed, which left the dome light on all night, which means I had a dead battery when I woke up this morning. So that th set things off the rails a little bit. I was hoping it was only a dead battery. Luckily, it was uh, a nice little two-hour delay there. I was wrapped up in that, and frankly, content was the last thing on my mind. I, my head was spinning on, if this is not a battery, how the hell am I going to get home? And what am I going to do for work tomorrow? Uh in front of you, you see all my Chantilly pickups. That's right. I bought nothing. I sold nothing. Uh, it was, from a transactional standpoint, it was not a good show for me. From a social standpoint, it was great. I got to hang out with people. I got to talk to people. Hung out with Flipping Steve on and off for part of the day on Saturday. Saw a bunch of other friends. Made some new friends. Had some time with the wife. It was great times. From a buying, selling, transacting, cards, trading, etc. Bad weekend. Uh, I plan on doing, you're seeing this first. I will do a more formal sit down slash recap with some thoughts on the Chantilly show. Uh, the long and the short of it is just to kind of give the quick and dirty. This will be a little sneak peek preview for any of y'all that snuck around to the end of this video. Basically, the repackers and whatnotters got in the show in the first 10 minutes and wiped out anything remotely decent. So as a, you know, I don't want to call myself a casual because I'm not like an advanced casual. I don't know what else to call it a semi-professional, I, I don't know what the right term here is. I mean, long story short, 
I was there three hours after the show floor opened, and that was too late. The good stuff was gone already. So I was left with the scraps. I honestly didn't even see much. There's a few cards that caught my eye that I inquired about, but nothing super crazy. The lack of a formal trade night uh, is a downer for me. Uh, that really, really hurt the overall show experience for me as a first-time attendee to the Chantilly show. I love, I went to the Philly show once, uh, absolutely love that show. Chantilly show, the venue was great. Uh, you know, like all that sort of stuff was fine. The location was really good. Just the, I, I, I just feel kind of meh coming out of that show. And it's not the show's fault. It, it's not the show's fault. The show didn't do anything wrong. Um, the current state of shows or the way shows are trending is in a weird spot. And that's kind of what I want to talk about a little bit deeper. So uh, look forward to that on a video later this week. We'll do a little bit of a deeper discussion on Chantilly. That is a wrap for this one. Oh, I did get one pickup. I left it upstairs. I did get a Crazy Daisy sticker. So I have a Crazy Daisy sticker. That was the big W. That was the big win of the trip. That's all I got for you boys and girls on this one. We will catch you for a full discussion video on Chantilly later this week. Have a good one. Charge your batteries. Peace.